Okay, so today I want to give you a quick overview of custom prompt. Um, custom prompt are a feature of Superpower Chat GPT. They can be very powerful and they can save you a lot of time if used correctly. So first thing you need to do as always, you need to go to Google, search for Superpower Chat GPT, uh, click on the first link, and there is a button that says Add to Chrome. Click on this button and it will add the extension to your Chrome browser. Once you add the extension, you can go back to ChatGPT. You can see um, that your ChatGPT has changed a little bit. You see the top nav bar, the folders on the sidebar that you can add. There is a search box, a bunch of different features. We have a gallery that I recently added. I talked about it in another video. But um, let's talk about custom prompts today. So first thing uh, first, where can you find the custom prompt? So this button that you see here is uh, the main focus of today's video. These these are, this is where you see your custom prompt. Clarify is our default custom prompt. Uh, you can see a list of other custom prompts here too. To access your custom prompt, we have a setting menu in uh, Superpower Chat GPT. You click on that and then there is a custom prompt tab here. You click on this tab and you can see the list of all the custom prompts that you were just looking at here. This is where you can add or remove custom prompts to, to your list of prompts. Custom prompts have a name in like the prompt itself. So the name usually is like a one word name that uh, is easy to remember and it helps you find the prompt that you're looking for. And the description or the prompt itself is the actual prompt that will be replaced when you use the custom prompt. So um, there is uh, there are two buttons here. There is a delete and default. You can delete any of these custom prompts that you don't like. Just click on it and confirm and it's gone. You can change the default custom prompt. The default refer to this button. So whatever the default is, it will show down here. Also, another way to access your custom prompt menu is by clicking on this add more. You just click on it and it will send you directly to that menu with the custom prompt tab selected. Um, so yeah, you can change the default here, set it to anyone. You can delete any of these. You can change, you can delete the default one um, unless you change the default to something else and you can delete that. Um, to add a new custom prompt, just click on add new custom prompt button up here, type a name for it, test, and type the actual prompt here, whatever it is. I'm just gonna type test for now and click on save and it will be added to the list of custom prompt that you have uh, already here. You can change the order of um, custom prompt by just clicking on this thing and um, dragging them up and down. Um, you can move them down, up, whatever order you use for uh, custom prompt, for these custom prompts up here, it will be um, the same order in this menu. So. Um, if you want to change the order of this menu, this menu is going to, it can get like really long and sometimes you want to have your most used custom prompts at the top. So you can just reorder it however you want to be able to quickly access your custom prompts up here. Um, another um, thing here is um, you can, if you don't want to see this custom prompt menu down here, you can just go to the custom prompt menu and just toggle this uh, switch off and it will hide the custom prompt menu uh, down here. But if you wanna see it, you can keep the, the this toggle on. Um, why would you wanna um, hide the custom prompt menu? Because there is also another way to access your custom prompt and it's by typing at inside the input box. So whenever you type at sign, it will um, show this menu up here uh, and you can just scroll down through it. You can use the keyboard arrows. I'm using uh, up and down keyboard arrows to um, uh, scroll down through the list uh, to find the custom prompt that I'm looking for. You can also, if you, um, uh, if you know the name of your uh, custom prompt, you can start typing here and it will automatically filter the list based on the name that you typed uh, after the add sign. You can um, also click on this um, add more button up here and it will again send you to the um, uh, custom prompt menu. So 
because you can access your custom prompt using the add sign, you can, if you don't want to see the other menu, you can just toggle it up, uh, up here. The one difference between the add sign and this menu is that when you like select the um, custom prompt from this menu, it will only add it in, in here uh, in, in your um, input box. But if you like click on a button here, it, not only it will add it, but it will also automatically submit it. There is also a way to just add the but add the custom prompt using this menu. If you look closely, you can see that under the button, it says um, shift click to edit before uh, running. So if I just press down shift and click, it will do the same thing. It will just add it without submitting the prompt. But sometimes you just wanna immediately submit your prompt so you can just click on this. And as you can see, it will, I didn't do anything, It'll automatically submit the prompt to ChatGPT. Um, there is another button right here. This is uh, what we call auto click. What this button does is if you click on it, it will be turned on. You can see auto continue is enabled. It's called auto continue because it will automatically click on this custom prompt to continue the conversation. So let's say um, the default one, you can change the default to, um, let's say, um, where is the continue? Continue, I'm gonna change it to continue. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna start a conversation. I'm gonna turn this on. Um, this button will automatically turn off every time you start a conversation because sometimes people forget to turn it off and it will like just continue running. And I'm gonna say, um, mm, write the first paragraph of a blog about remote work. I'm gonna submit that. Once I submit that, after I get the result, ChatGPT, because of uh, because we turned on this button, will automatically click on continue and it will just continue like running the uh, prompt with ChatGPT. And um, that way I can just like sit back and watch ChatGPT keep responding and responding and responding. As you can see, I didn't do anything. Uh, it's just automatically continuing the conversation for me. I'm gonna, like let it run one more time and then we're gonna stop. Again, continue. So at any time, if you wanna stop this, you can just click on stop generating and it will stop uh, the, the um, auto continue feature. You can always turn it off um, if you don't want to continue, but it's a way for you to just sit back and um, see what ChatGPT does. You can also maybe try to be like a little more creative and set your prompt in a way that it somehow like reference to the like previous response of ChatGPT. That way, every time it auto continues, um, it will like, change the direction of the conversation. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is the um, uh, custom prompt feature. Um, give it a try. Let me know what you think in the comments and hope you like it. Thank you.